This is the Mingda Magician X. It's a pretty standard looking 3D printer, but it's got a secret weapon that has made it my favorite in Mingda's lineup. Curious to learn more? This isn't a review video of the Magician X. There's already plenty of those on YouTube, and I suggest you check one of them out if you're looking for more of a traditional review. Instead, we're going to talk a little bit about the specs of the machine, and then we're going to focus on the one feature that I really think makes the Magician X stand out. The Mingda Magician X has a build volume of 230 by 230 by 260 millimeters, and it has all the features you would expect from a printer at this price range. Direct drive extruder, heated glass bed, silent stepper drivers, color touchscreen LCD, filament runout sensor, and dual Z-axis with a synchronization belt. The Magician X has the typical USB and SD card inputs on the front of the machine, and it also carries the distinction of being the first 3D printer I think I've ever seen that has a USB-C port on it. The plastic body of the Magician X has a couple of cool surprises, like the built-in tool storage underneath the bed. In addition, there are a few areas that show some really nice attention to detail, like this recessed cutout for the power cord. This allows the printer to have a power cord that doesn't jut straight out of the back of the machine, and instead allows it to plug into the heated bed where it's fully supported. The X and Y belt assemblies have built-in tensioners, which allow you to remove any slack in the system. This is a nice touch, and it's about what I would expect from a $400 machine. The Magician X printed great right out of the box, and in this video I want to focus on why I believe that is. The auto-leveling system on the Magician X is unbelievably easy to use, and in my opinion, should be industry standard. So why do I think this is such a big deal? That brings us to the main point of this video, and that's bed leveling is hard. Now, I know, I can already hear you typing and firing off a comment in the comment section about how bed leveling problems are only for beginners, and I hear you. I'm really happy that you figured it out, but there's about 26 million people on Google who are just dying to find out, how can I level my bed? And the short answer is there's a lot of different ways, and different manufacturers have made different attempts. The most common that I've seen is the four corner style, where each corner of the build platform has a spring-loaded screw that's used to manually adjust the bed up and down using a piece of paper as a feeler gauge to set the offset. Other 3D printers, like the Think 3D T22, use an array of strain gauges to act as an electromechanical sensor to determine when the nozzle is making contact with the build platform. This allows the printer to record the offset between the nozzle and the platform at various points in space. There are many ways to solve this problem, but in my opinion, the best and most elegant solution is the solution that the user is least aware of. In other words, how can we solve this problem before it even begins? You'll notice that underneath the build platform on the Magician X, there are no thumbscrews. This means that there's no mechanical adjustments required or even possible. So the real magic on the Magician X happens right here in the extruder module, and if we take the shell off, we can look a little bit closer to see what's going on. Let's take a look at the components individually. First, you'll notice that the pancake stepper motor is a little bit thinner than the standard NEMA 17, and that's to make room for some of these additional components. At first glance, you might not even notice the strain gauge on the Magician X, or you might just think it's part of the bracket that holds the extruder in place. This strain gauge is used to detect pressure, which then converts it into a corresponding electrical signal by changing the resistance of the component. The Anycubic Viper also uses this type of strain gauge, and you can see here it's the black bracket that's located on top of the hot end. I reviewed the Anycubic Viper for Tom's Hardware, and I noted that I was really impressed with its ability to print edge-to-edge -edge build plates with virtually no warping or delamination on any of the parts. Just like the Viper, the Magician X is a one-click operation. Once you've pressed the leveling button, the printer will automatically heat the hot end and the build platform, and then begin making contact on various edges of the bed. What the printer is doing here is slowly touching down and tapping the nozzle on the bed until it can detect that change in electrical resistance from the strain gauge. So you can see if you look very carefully, the bed shifts ever so slightly as the nozzle makes contact with it. This process only takes a few minutes, and as the printer is going, it's automatically storing this information in firmware. This means after you've ran the leveling process, you don't necessarily need to run it again unless you start to see a noticeable degradation in print quality, delamination, or if you've moved the printer or it's received some kind of bump. The best way to test if a printer is calibrated and the bed is level is to print objects at all corners of the bed as well as the center. 
This is a good way to make sure that the calibration has been set properly and any peaks or valleys on the build platform have been properly accounted for. As you can see in this print preview and proof slicer, we're going to be printing nine individual squares on the bed, each of them one layer thick, at various positions to determine if the calibration has been set correctly. This might seem like a simple print, but you'd be surprised. You can see here that right off the bat on the very first try, the layer is nice and even, and the Z motor undulates slightly. You'll notice that it sort of rocks back and forth. And what's happening here is the printer is accounting for these variances in each measurement in real time. This allows the printer to compensate for any peaks or valleys and keep a consistent distance between the nozzle and the build platform for each individual square. And you can see here, each of these nine squares adhered perfectly, and I was able to remove them without a whole lot of effort. The squares themselves look nice and clean, and generally speaking, this is about what I would expect for a solid first layer from a print. So we've determined that bed leveling is a problem and that there are potential solutions. So the new question becomes, is auto leveling worth it? And that can be a tough question to answer. It really depends on your particular situation. The Mingda Magician X is currently available on Amazon for $400, but you can typically find it on their website or available with a coupon for about 350. This makes it a good bit more expensive than the Creality Ender 3 V2, a printer with more or less comparable specs that's available for about $280 on Amazon. So what do you get for that extra money? Right off the bat, there's assembly time. The Magician X has six bolts and you're done. It takes about five minutes to build. For comparison, the Creality Ender 3 takes me about an hour or so to build, assuming I do everything right, and that's not always the case. If you're just looking to get into 3D printing to print figurines, and you're okay with spending a little bit of time experimenting and calibrating, then auto-leveling might not really be a big deal. But if you want your printer to work day one right out of the box, it's pretty critical to get that first layer calibration out of the way so you can focus on the 3D printing part of 3D printing. There are links in the description below if you want to learn more about the Magician X or any of the other printers that were used in this video. As always, thanks for watching and have fun printing.